So my name is Dr. Christopher Bridges, uh, and I'm an academic here at Surrey Space Centre, part of the University of Surrey. Uh, and we've been working together with AMSET UK on a payload for a, a European Space Agency mission uh, called ZEO. And ZEO stands for European Student Earth Orbiter. Um, and we've got a small payload um, that's uh, going on it, and I've been able to drag and rope in uh, some of my students, including Pete, uh, in on this mission. Uh, my name's Pete Bartram, and I'm an MSc student at the University of Surrey. Uh, the software development for the AMSAT payload is being done as a part of my MSc project. So there's two communications payloads on this satellite. The primary one, which is used uh, for the normal downlinking of data, and then this is a redundant system to operate as backup in the case of a failure. On this particular unit, we use the one processor that's running the FreeRTOS and the Persepio tools uh, connected to uh, a dual CAN bus, a power system, and then two antennas which are connected to our RF boards uh, within this particular unit. Um, the purpose of the payload itself is actually threefold. Um, so the original purpose is for radio amateurs around the world, AMSAT, um, to be able to collect telemetry data from the satellite being sent down. Uh, the secondary purpose of this payload is in the event of a failure of the primary payload, communications downlink payload, uh, to operate as a backup to allow for transmission of data from other payloads down to the ground. And the third intention of this payload um, is for education outreach. One of the things that we need to do when we prepare for our space missions is to make sure that we've got all the right tools. And to use professional pieces of software is critically important. This is really the case on a lot of equipment, not just in space, but on things like cars, aeroplanes, medical equipment, where they're going to be going into critical areas where it just has to work. On this particular system, we're using FreeRTOS. And one of the things we need to do in a very quick sort of turnaround way uh, in our small student projects is to be able to quickly visualize and analyze all the different results that come from it. So we have to have different tasks being run on the processor, all doing very, very different things. We need to be able to look through that data in a quick way. And the existing tools really didn't do what we needed to do, and Persepio's tools did exactly that for the timing and for the CPU load measurements. So there's two areas that Tracelizer has been really useful for this project. Uh, the first is in conforming to ESA standards. Um, so ESA have strict requirements on processor usage, um, so that if une unexpected events occur at the same time, uh, then you can guarantee that the processor is able to cope with it. So the Tracelizer uh, CPU loading graph um, is more superior than the FreeRTOS one uh, statistic tools built in. The second place that the Persepio tools have been really useful is in an RF system, you need to make sure that you're sampling at the right point in time and at the right frequency. So by using the timing diagrams within Persepio, it's possible to observe this in a way that you couldn't do without using the tools.